What is going on everybody? Bill for anything here and have something really cool that I want to show you guys. Now some of you might be familiar with Humans of New York. They have a huge, huge social media presence on Facebook and Instagram. It was created back in 2010 by the photographer Brandon Stanton. It is a photo blog, a book, um, interviews of people in New York City. And I picked this book up about two years ago because I said to myself, I thought this would be a pretty cool book to have lying around in the home in case I have guests, in case I have some downtime, I could just go through it. Well, that day was today. Um, I actually had some time. I was drinking my coffee, going through it, and it brought back a lot of memories for me, a lot of memories. And I said to myself, I think it'd be pretty cool to go through some of these photos with you guys and just give you my interpretation of it. Because I'm sure you guys have always heard the term, a photographer's eye. And I think it's really cool to be able to look through somebody else's vision and say to yourself, you know, what does this mean to me, right? What's my interpretation of this art? And so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna flick through some of the photos, give you my interpretation of it, some stories, some memories. I'm not gonna go through the whole book out of respect of the, you know, the photographer. You know, if you guys like what you see so far, definitely you can go pick it up. I might even put a link in the description uh, where you could get it on Amazon. So um, let's get right into it. We're gonna go through this pretty quickly. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through the entire thing, but just go through the photos that stick out to me the most. This definitely does. This is that Grand Central. You can see all the people here. It's a madhouse. It's always a madhouse at Grand Central. So this right here is uh, pretty accurate. Pretty, pretty accurate. This shot right here just reminds me of when I was a little kid. Uh, the cool thing about basketball is that you don't you don't really need anybody else to play with. All you need is the ball. And growing up as a middle child uh, with sisters, I was always kind of by myself. And so this photo right here really sticks out to me because I remember picking up that basketball and you know dribbling it around everywhere I go. So this is this is a cool photo right here. Look at these. Oh, right here, Columbus Circle. I mean, just look, these photos are great, man. These photos are great. This right here, <laughs> this reminds me of, uh, there was this time, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't driving at the time, this was way early on. I remember coming from a job I was working at and I had on my, my nice shirt, tie, slacks, I'm coming off the train and it is pouring, pouring like crazy, okay? There's no Uber, Uber wasn't a thing yet. It, it was, I was maybe four or five blocks away from home and I remember just having to run through like pouring rain like this and I, I kid you not, by the time I got home, I was, I was soaked just like this. So I know, I know he's having a little bit more fun than I did at the time, but yeah, this definitely brings back memories <laughs> of always Keep an umbrella with you at all times. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Yep, look at this. I bet he doesn't have to do this anymore uh, for the most part with Uber, but if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they, they, it looks like he's in the city and I know that they made it tough for Uber to be in the city because this is where the yellow cabs, this is, this is where they do their thing. So I, I, last time I checked, they didn't want to have that type of conflict. So that's probably why he's pointing his finger up in the air, man. Uh, good luck with that. Let's keep going. Ooh, this photo right here. I used to have a Datsun. Those are those hot dog dogs. Uh, name was Taz. And <laughs> this just reminds me so much of him because uh, he was just hyper, man. That's why I called him Taz because he was just, he was, he was crazy. That dog was crazy. <laughs> and you can see right here, uh, a group of fellas here with the pit bulls. The one in the middle reminds me of my dog, uh, my dog named Ether. All black pit bull, white on the front, white on the paws. Just like that. Just like that. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Ah, the good old snow. 
Yep, I'll tell you, winters in New York, not fun. Not just, just not fun. Not fun at all. Not a fan. See right here, this was cool. See, taking long past bedtime on a Brooklyn Brown C train. I used to take the C train all the time uh, to go into the city uh, from where I live. So definitely, definitely know what this is like to just fall asleep on the train, which I don't recommend. You definitely don't want to fall asleep on the train. I had a buddy of mine that fell asleep, woke up, and didn't have his wallet. So, yeah. <laughs> always, always stay alert on the uh, MTA. So, let's keep moving. Yeah, you can see here a lot of graffiti on the, on the bricks, on the walls. Ah, definitely, I missed that. Let's keep going. Ah, Brighton Beach. I kid you not, I used to ride my bike on the weekends to Brighton Beach, which is probably by car it'll take you like 30 minutes so it was maybe a two hour bike ride um, from where I lived out there maybe an hour and a half or so but yeah definitely remember this beach um, it's 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 one of the few I don't know about getting in the water gotta miss me with that don't know about the waters just like Coney Island beach not 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 interested not interested but you may catch me on some sand you know, a little, little further back, though, because you don't know what you might step in. You know, it's, it's pretty crazy out there. But, yeah, this is fun times, fun times. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. It's a nice shot right here, man. I mean, uh, I, I'm assuming that's, that's, let me see, is that, yeah, it looks like it might be his lady. You know, just in a wheelchair. We all gonna end up there at some point. You know, God willing, you are gonna end up in that position. Hopefully, you have a, a a wonderful partner that's willing to wipe your chin and and willing to to still care for you, just like you can see in this photo right here. You know, this 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 is dope. Oh, actually, now that I'm reading this, it says it's his caretaker. Still, I mean, you know, nothing romantic, but hey, just it's good to have somebody around. I, I'll leave it at that. He right here, count your blessings. My man's in a wheelchair, got some money on him. Yeah, you always see guys like this with no legs, moving around, asking for change. So, yeah, I've definitely handed a couple dollars over in my day. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Ah, the basketball court, man. That's where, that's where it all goes down. That's where it all goes down, man. Definitely remember some fun times there. Let's see. Let's keep it moving. This photo right here sticks out to me as well. As you can see, black pit bull, white on the chest. <laughs> oh man, my dog used to look at me just like that too, man. So cute. Let's keep moving. <laughs> I can't, I can't just, I can't just breeze past this photo, man. I, I, I can't. Like, what is going on here? Like, okay, I see a dog. I see a bird. I don't know if there's another bird hiding in the hat. I don't know what's going on. Is this is this shoes? Like is this gold slippers? This is this is <laughs> only in New York, man. Only in New York, man. Let's see what else. Now look at this photo right here. It says the morning commute can be hell of, can be hell for a germaphobe. I don't know when this photo was taken. I'm pretty sure it was taken before COVID-19. It's funny because people probably looked at him like he was crazy back then. Today, that's the new normal. So there you go. Got some cool tats going on here. I like these, I like these two photos right here too as well. Um, actually, let me read what this says. It says, when my husband was dying, I said, Mo, how am I supposed to live without you? He told me, take the love you have for me and spread it around. Beautiful, beautiful. So much you can learn from the elderly. Do not underestimate it. Do not. The wrinkles, the gray hair, that speaks to experience. If you ever get a chance to sit down with somebody who's much older than you, who's you know obviously still in their right mind, and you can ask them questions, and you could just hear some of the stories and experiences, don't take it for granted. You know, if you have grandmothers that's still in your life, grandfathers that's still in your life, ask them everything you need to ask them because you you can't make up 80 years, 90 years. In, in 10 days, you know, in, in 10 years, you know, it just experience means a lot. So 
This is pretty cool right here. I, I like to see these type of photos, man. I, I love I love old people. <laughs> My man in the suitcase. <laughs> oh boy, this right here. I mean, just being on the train, full of distractions. You know, uh, it looks like a Nintendo DS. Yeah, I, that was definitely me at one point. You know, riding the train a lot. You you make sure you got your Walkman, your your iPod, your whatever. You know, just to take your mind off of what's going on. So just make sure you don't miss your stop. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm, I definitely used to hop into some carts like this. You know, asking mom, push me around. <laughs> oh my God, this right here, English Bulldog. <sighs> I had one myself named Emma. Looked just like this, brown with the white on the face. <sighs> They're hard to take care of, uh, unfortunately. Uh, she passed away early, but definitely love that dog. Shout out to Emma. Let's keep going. Now, we're just skipping through some pages. You can see more dog lovers. What stuck out to me the most about this photo here is, you know, seeing all the leaves, you know, the fall. You know, it's just, I just remember a backyard because we used to have this big tree. And when all the leaves would fall in the yard, it's like my mom would be like, hey, <laughs> you going to go clean it up? And I remember just being out there with the rake, just cleaning it up. Because for me, you know, we used to have a basketball uh, rim in the backyard. And so if I wanted to play, I got to get these leaves out the way. So it was kind of like a catch-22, you know. So I, I, it's, it's all free labor at that point. But definitely you can see here the colors just pop. I definitely love this shot right here. I'm going to skip through some more. Ah. This right here definitely stands out. It's, it's supposed to be in Harlem. I definitely remember frequenting Harlem. Had a lot of friends over there. I used to go to this spot called Famous Fish with my homeboy. I think they're still around. Psh, best fried fish, yo. Forget about it. Um, but yeah, definitely remember seeing these buildings, man. And just, yeah, it's it's Harlem. Harlem was fun. You know, Dykeman, you got the Rucker. So it was always a fun time going to Harlem. I like this photo right here too. Um, as you can see, it looks like the sailor, you know, probably just came home, got his lady, you know, probably ain't seen it in a while. It's supposed to be in the middle of Times Square. You never know what's going on in the middle of Times Square. I remember one time I ran into Ludacris out in Times Square. Uh, I remember running into Jay-Z in an elevator, you know, in the city. You never know who you might see in Manhattan. So uh, things like this, you know, people do proposals in the middle of the city. So, you know. It's a, this right here brings back memories, definitely. Now, I'll probably do maybe one or two more, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Let's see. Let's see. What else we got going on here? It's pretty dope, too. You can see here all the colors. Now, this looks a little bit more up to date. You know, this, 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 this looks more like COVID-19 right now. So, yeah, this, this, this is crazy. Let's, let's see what else we got. This definitely brings back memories. Um, looks like an iPod, probably, or maybe an old iPhone, but like, yeah, I remember the old iPhones, cracked screen, definitely happened to me before, so yeah, this definitely brings back memories. And it looks like, is that a Giants jersey? Oh, okay, okay, I just noticed that. Let's keep it going, maybe one more. What we got, what we got. Love this photo right here. I'm telling you, pit bulls get such a bad rap, man. They get such a bad rap. Great dogs, great dogs. Let's see, one more, one more. Definitely not gonna, I'm not gonna get into all of this. <laughs> one more, one more, what we got, what we got? Let's end off with this. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, okay? Uh, as you can see here on the train, you got the kids on the train. This is pretty cool. Uh, that's probably me back there. You know, mind my business. But look over here. <laughs> my man, I guess he's a rat lover. I don't know. Uh, but he looks like he got one of the rats, like, you know, just by the mouth. I, look, you never know what you're going to see. I remember seeing people with snakes uh, as pets just in the, in the city. You know, they'll have it on their shoulders and they'll just put it on your shoulders like here. And it's just, it's just you never know. It's, people are into a lot of exotic stuff out there. I, I don't know why. But yeah, him having rats, <laughs> it looks like this is a blue one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a perfect, perfect place to, uh, to end this on. So, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching this. Uh, let me know down below which photos you liked. 
Uh, let me know which stories you liked. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. I definitely have some other books that I could definitely do this type of format with. Um, so this is just, you know, me experimenting. So let me know what you guys think about it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.